all for a Valentine's Day special. From my heart to yours, my wife, Meredith David. Hello. <laughs> yes. That was amazing. That was an outstanding intro. That was... You should do voiceover work. Yes. <laughs> you should. So true. Uh, so, I'm crashing the party. I'm a girl. And I am on yeah. Live Young and Free. You're a girl. I am There's a girl. There's never been a girl here before. It's true. It's true. Don't tell anyone. But, um, no, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit. Um, I don't know if this is going to be my first time or my last time on Live Young and Free, so I am going to share well, the most... I'm silently judging you <laughs> right now. Good, good. It's important in a marriage. Um, I just figured I'd share just one thing with you, something that... I don't know if it's the most important success principle ever. I just know it's been very, very important to me. I don't know if you can ever relate to just... Um, giving up on things easily growing up like horseback riding lessons gave up you know French lessons gave up I played the cello for two years and I you know I gave up and I don't know like along the way I guess things sometimes would get you know just overly challenging or too hard or sometimes just boring honestly I mean sometimes I just you know it's like when I first started something I felt so excited and so motivated to do it and somewhere along the way I just got bored I just felt not I don't know like I needed some sign from the universe to tell me that it was good to keep going and since I didn't get that I would just quit at things and I don't know I think with our generation like you know it's the microwave mentality or you know, I don't know, I think of movies where like if there's an overweight guy and he needs to get skinny, you know, it's like the inspiration will hit him that he needs to lose weight and then there's a movie montage and it lasts 45 seconds and in those 45 seconds you see him working out, going to the gym and then 45 seconds later he's got this just like awesome body and I don't know, so I guess in my own mind I thought that's the way things kind of work and I just learn along the way when I really tried to do something important when I really got a dream and I understood that it was important for me to follow through on it I realized that I was gonna need to work harder than that you know like if you think about that guy when he's losing the weight he's going to the gym you know I don't think he probably got a sign from the universe two weeks into it that he should keep going you know probably at the gym like you almost, there could be a tendency to go on the easier machines, you know, on the ones that don't stretch you as much, the ones that don't push you as hard, but what is it that actually makes you stronger? It's the resistance. You know, if you're lifting weights, the more resistance you give yourself, the stronger you're gonna be. Now, if you apply that to any dream that you're pursuing, here's what you need to understand. When the resistance comes, that doesn't mean stop what you're doing. You know, that doesn't mean maybe I'm on the wrong track. If it gets hard or you feel like you're not personally good enough to do it or even, you know, somebody just tries to eat your lunch about it, tells you it's not a good dream to have or whatever the case may be, understand that when you're doing something important, you're probably going to be waiting for a sign from the universe to tell you that what you're doing is very important. Here's the truth of the matter. The only sign you're going to get that you're doing something important is that you're going to get more resistance along the way. But that's what's going to make you stronger. That's what's going to be waiting along the path. I mean, think about it. Nursery school, the treasure, the princess, whatever, wasn't just hanging out waiting for you. You know, there's always something guarding, always some monster or dragon or whatever. You need to push through. You need to understand the resistance for what it is. It might just be a clue that you're on the right track. So that's what I got for you today. Young and free. See you on the other side. And that's why I married you. That was awesome. Okay.